All right, guys, here is the Cannonball 800. This is uh, very, very cool. And i um, super thankful to Catalyst Machine Works, um, to Neil, one of the owners, and all the team pilots who worked a lot uh, on this design and had a lot of input. And to have my pilot name, you know, um, you know this this frame, this quad being named uh, after my pilot name is uh, fantastic. Very very cool. I'm so so excited for that. And obviously to take on this X class journey is going to be fantastic. And as you can see, this thing is a monster. I mean, here I have for reference uh, one of my five inch quads, and it is just monstrous, right? So to talk a little bit about the frame. Um, we've got two two options. You can opt out of using front and rear brace. Um, these braces um, will make the quad probably stronger. We haven't really tested that out, but in theory it should. Um, however, they do add some weight. Um, they are a little bit more expensive too. So still much testing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with the full braced version just to see how it flies and then compare uh, after making some changes. Uh, all that changes is just uh, this mount here. It basically won't have this part. Um, <clears throat> and um, and then you get the brace. Uh, the brace is in the front and the rear, or you can just run one side or however you prefer. But so let's talk a little bit about the frame and uh, you know some of the features. So um, you've got a kind of like a cage system here and you can, this just pops up here. And this is where you have all your electronics, or most of them. So I got the PDB. Um, we'll have the ESCs once they're all wired and routed. The flight controller will mount up here. And then you could probably do your, your VTX and receiver uh, uh, up here. Camera will go in this cage here, so it has really good protection. I mean, not that you need it. I think if you crash this thing, uh, camera's probably the last thing you're going to be worried about. <laughs> um, you can use the standard Catalyst Machine Works GoPro mount that works on the uh, uh, America and the Smooth Operator. So same system will will work here um, for a session. And I've got here for uh, Hero 6, 7. So very, very cool. Um, my favorite feature is that ba the battery protection. And let me show you why because most frames out there right now, especially in X-Class, you either mount it on top or on the bottom and just hang it. But check this out. What we have is we got a battery tray that slides in and out and you can fit up to, I believe Neil is, has, is, has been using two 6S batteries in series that he's running for 12S and he is fitting, I think, uh, two 6S 3300 uh, mAh hours um, batteries in there. So plenty of space. If you wanted to fit bigger batteries, you can increase the spacers here to increase the height, and that will give you some more room. Um, and here, I'm gonna, just going to take out the, the battery tray. So. So basically all you do is you have uh, this, this thumb uh, lock, so you just pull it out and it unlocks the battery, or the battery tray, and here it is. And then I don't have any of my batteries with me yet that I'm going to be using, but I mean essentially, you know, it'll go in there, the, uh, you have one or two or however many you need, and then you can strap them down through here. And you'll have him, and then this will literally just slide in there. Uh, let me see. There we are. So it literally just goes on rails there, and it just slides. And let's see if I can if I can do this. Right there, you'll see it. Let's see if I can get it with a uh, one-handed. I'm gonna have to put, put the camera down. There we are. Gotta 
pull the thumb, the thumb lock here. There we are. Nice lock. And there we are. So um, just locks in place and then same to remove it. Just pull it out, slide it out. So that's a brief overview of the frame. Um, Cannonball time! Alright. Made in time. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we are for the maiden flight of the cannonball. Um, we're gonna start out on 6S with 16-inch uh, props and then um, go down to 13-inch props and do straight to 12S. So let's get going. <laughs> So you're running 6S in series here, right? Parallel. Parallel. Parallel, okay. So dub of the mall and 6S. Let's see if this guy can hover. <laughs> Step back. or bad vibrations, huh? Yeah, high, high throttle vibrations. It's too big, so we'll go down in size. They're just not balanced very well. No. smooth recording this time. So. Right. 
Well, definitely need some tuning, but I mean, this is literally our second flight, so pretty happy with that. That it's even flying. <laughs> All right, let's get the car. I can't even feel my hands it's now. Cold. That's another thing. I'm sure this temperature has an effect on the flight characteristics a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, once we get uh, all the components we need. Uh, we'll be able to clean up the install too, so it will look much much neater. Yeah, this was strictly just to get it up in the air today. Yep. 